pulling on you at 12 midnight. Right? God's pulling on you at 12 midnight. Amen. Amen. Come on, Come on, Amen. Amen. See, these kind of lessons challenges us as believers. See, I told y'all, most folks, most people, let me tell y'all this, <coughs> most folks that are married didn't know what they was getting into. Most folks that in the church didn't know what they was getting into. That's right, right? See, when you, when, when you gave your life to God, what you're saying is, God, my life is not for me. Right. It's for you. Mm -hmm. We haven't got that. Watch, but she that is married cares for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I'll conclude with verse 35. And this I speak for your own profit, not that I might cast a snap on you, but for that which is comely, and that ye may attend. Watch this, unto the Lord without what? Right. right. See, if God wants you to just work for him, he doesn't want you to have a man. He doesn't want you to have a woman because he don't want you to be distracted by a woman or a man. Mm -hmm. He said, man, I want, I want your whole mind, your body to be utilized for building the kingdom of God. I don't want some man distracting you. Right. I don't want some woman distracting you, brother. And that's like that Paul did. He didn't have a woman distracting him. That's why he was able to do all that he did. Jesus didn't have a woman distracting him. John the Baptist didn't have a woman distracting him. Come on, that's why they were so great in God. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. So one of the reasons that you could not be married, some of you that are here, one of the reasons that you could not be married now is that the Lord don't want you to be married. Come on. Come on. Say amen. How many know you gave God that right? Amen. And one of the worst things you can do is go out and do it yourself. You want some hell. You want some H E double hockey sticks with black tape on them. You do it yourself, brother. You're going to wish you had done it. Because I've been God knows what's best for you. Amen. Now, just because you attend to the law without distraction, don't believe, don't, doesn't mean that you're going to be miserable. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. So what you got to do as a single person, if, you, if you're single, you desire to be married, and you're not, you need to find out, well, God, let me ask you a question. Is it your will for me to stay single? Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. Doesn't that make sense? Because you don't want to be walking up the wrong tree. Right, right, you don't right. want no false hope. You don't want nobody to prophesy to you and tell you, I see a man in your life. He's tall and bright skin. He's driving a bean. Come on, somebody. Amen. You don't want Brother Saul to come to you and say, The Lord told me you was my wife. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because that, that, that cause is supposed to be frustrated. Come on. How many, how many of y'all want to know what your life is supposed to be like? Amen. Well, I'll just tell if you. If I know the truth, I can deal with it. Right. 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 Listen. Right. Come on, I can deal with it. Uh -huh. I know the truth. That's, that's right. Now to handle myself, I can take. I can take my 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 whole box and give it to somebody else. I can start planning my life ahead, so I know I got to take care of myself. Come on. One of the reasons you might not be married because God don't want you ever to get married. We have people that are like that. Come on, y'all. Amen. Come on, Bishop. Amen.